Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I have the honor to deliver this statement of the, of behalf of the African group, which aligns with the statement delivered by Pakistan on behalf of the G77 and China. Stockholm plus 50 is a historic moment to commemorate the 1972 UN Conference on Human Environment. It celebrates 50 years of collective global action, but more, it is an opportunity for the world to reflect, reflect on the progress, on the gaps, and on the challenges. Stockholm Plus 50 is timely while we are preparing for the COP27 in Egypt. We all aim to make drastic progress in international efforts to address environmental challenges. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, over the past two years, COVID-19 has taught us critical lessons. Our future is as hopeful as the strength of our cooperation. The challenges of our time do not give us the luxury to walk in isolation. We need to rise above our stark differences and fight for the common good of current and future generation more and much faster. We stepped into the decade of action with massive pandemic disruptions. We are running out of time to act on climate, to act on pivotal development goals. It is time we move strategically and act urgently. We need to ensure that all multilateral agreements and promises strengthen systematic follow-up of action commitments and progress on multi-stakeholder pledges. We need greater overall accessibility and efficiency of financial flows to address climate change in Africa, both mitigation and adaptation. We need more efficient and less complex practices for accessing climate finance from different bilateral and multilateral funders, or as simply said by the UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres, we simply need to reform bureaucracy. The countries and DCs need to translate into a pipeline of bankable projects to attract investment at scale from the private sector, private capital investments catalyzed by improved fiscal policies as well as by, as by private climate financing. Together, we should strengthen UNEP to be the leading global environmental entity and to make it fit for purpose to respond to the evolving environmental challenges that we are facing today. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, more and much faster. We need to increase investment in resilience as well as greater alignment of finance and insurance against increasing risks posed by climate shocks. Lives can be saved through proactive planning and disaster risk management. The African group emphasizes the need to, for supporting the implementation of renewable energy initiatives, including the Africa Renewable Energy Initiative, the SDG 7 Initiative for Africa to increase, to increase clean energy actions in NDCs, and support credit enhancement instruments to fast-track investments for those actions. The group underlines the importance to support African countries in their just transition plans and calls upon development partners to support a fair and just transition to secure workers' rights, provide social protection for affected communities, and build necessary capacity to deliver clean energy networks and to ensure the provision of energy needed for Africa's economic transformation and growth. We should address critical gaps in technology transfer to support country development and implementation of NDCs and long-term strategies. The group stresses the need to enhance commitment to address the drivers of desertification, land degradation and drought, and support existing programs such as the Great Green Wall for the Sahara, Sahel and Southern Africa, the adaptation of African agriculture initiatives, the African Forest Landscape Restoration Initiative Program to combat desertification in Southern Africa Initiative. More and much faster, agriculture employs more than 60% of African population. We need to leverage strategic partnerships through the private sector and international financial institutions to create a larger pool of funding for our smallholder farmers and agriculture SMEs.
If we narrow the digital connectivity gap and healthcare system gap, productivity will increase and recreate more opportunities for women and youth has the potential of lifting over 60 million people out of poverty. Thank you very much.